The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I get to talk about one of my favorite things to collect, Sega Genesis. Recently I announced that, yes, my Sega Genesis collection, my game collection, is going to be on display at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo this year. So while I am getting ready to have my game collection on display, I've been upgrading some of my most damaged carts in my collection. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to upgrade your Genesis games and things to look out for. Let's take a look. So what I've done is I've taken about the 10 worst games in my collection, and I'm going to be talking about the things that I upgraded for each game and some tips to help you when you are looking for great condition Sega Genesis games. So these games here, these are my original copies I've had in my collection several years. Many have were rental copies. Others I just haven't got around to upgrading. And so let's take a look at these. Here is my copy of NBA Action 95. And you know, it doesn't look too bad, but you know, it's got a price sticker. I could probably use a heat gun to get off. But what you notice on the front there is some sun fade. And uh, one thing I, I really have tried to do to pursue games in better shape was look for the games that had the most sun fade on in the packaging and see if I could find an affordable copy to upgrade. And what's really nice about sports titles is that they're typically easy to upgrade and I found an affordable copy on eBay. This is brand new sealed. As you can see, the condition is way better. And so this is sealed. It's still got the hang tab on the back. It's in really nice shape. Sealed. I normally don't go after sealed games, but for sports games, why not? Sometimes sports games are easy to upgrade. Not all the time, but this was an affordable one, so I went ahead and upgraded it. Up next is Pele Soccer. And this is a copy I've had in my collection at least 20 years. And it has some shelfware. There was an original offer sticker on the front of the box and it is long gone. And in the inside, inside it's, it's taped together. <laughs> My cart was pretty damaged as well. And you know, the manual was in pretty good shape. So I wanted to upgrade this cart and box. And so I found an affordable upgrade to it. And here's my upgrade. As you can see, there was some sun fade. There's a nice, better sticker on the right-hand copy of that. And more importantly, one thing, you know, and it's, it's sometimes like I like to stick with the original. So if I'm going to upgrade a copy of a game, I actually will go out and typically I will purchase a, another copy of the game to upgrade this game. I don't like to piecemeal, especially with Sega Genesis. It's just one of my favorite things to collect. I like to keep things as much as original as possible. And so what's cool is that when I upgraded the box, I actually got the uh, the goodies, as I call them, the warranty card and the soccer ball offer paperwork with my upgrade. And look at that cart. It's in great shape, much better than my original cart, and it has the original tray. That's another thing that I like to have in all my games is original packaging and all the goodies. So this was nice to have it complete with the sticker on the front box. And what I use is I use these protectors and I use these to keep my games, especially the cardboard box ones, nice shape as possible. It keeps them from getting scuffed and it's a nice way to keep your game carts and boxes in good shape. Here is another sun faded copy of Dynamite Heady. And I've had this in my collection a long time and it is a from Blockbuster video. So there's some history there. And I've had this in my collection and I just needed to upgrade it. And so what I did is I went out and got a better copy of the game. And there you go. And I transferred my instruction manual and cart into this case, which now is looking great. And here we go, and that's it. And so it looks so much better. You know, I really like to have the best condition artwork as possible. Sega Genesis has a lot of great artwork that they used on their game boxes, and there's nearly 700 different games. And so it was nice to upgrade this copy of this game. Two words that 
a game collector does not like to hear that that they have in their collection and that's water damage and i got this from a rental store a long time ago and it looks like this case, this cover has some water damage you can really tell when you take it out and you can see that it's got some water damage there it's been there a long time and it's caked on it's gross yuck you know for most people they don't care about sports titles and the case itself that's another thing it's an easy replacement sometimes sometimes you can make a game look a lot better just by replacing the case these cases get old they're harder to find new in stock it actually has a chip in the corner there there's a lot of tape residue this is just kind of a, a gross copy of the artwork and case and so there's a lot of there's a lot of issues with this game it's been bothering me for a long time and so i wanted to get an upgrade so i did i went out and got this and this looks so much better and so as you can see you know it's 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 a nice shape there's no sun fade and inside i have e and i even got an additional warranty card with this new copy so my my game cart is in nice shape it's better than my original a nice upgrade and an affordable price this is a terrible game but i definitely wanted to still upgrade it and you know on the surface it doesn't look too bad but there is some damage to the spine artwork now what's kind of nice about sega genesis games is that the artwork from a game case can be removed that's really nice this from is from blockbuster video so it's nice to have in the collection still but it just was a little jacked up there was some case damage there there uh, also inside my cart was a little rough in shape not terrible nothing bad my instruction manual was okay shape but I got a better condition game case and it actually came complete it was fairly affordable uh, a lot of these games are under the $20 price range that's nice about Sega Genesis and you know this this game case is in a lot better shape and the cartridge was in much better shape sun fade and water damage and this is actually something that really bothers me and so what i've done is sometimes you can search for actually just the artwork on ebay and that's what i did with this game and it is definitely not in great shape it's nice to have but this looks so much better and so the artwork difference here is pretty considerable and so it's just nice to have this has got this game's got some awesome artwork and so it just looks so much better and it's just nice one thing about these original grid based games is that the, the, the actual insert is very thin and so it's susceptible to water damage and sun fade. So this is again another game I got used. I knew it was in the shape when I purchased it. It's just I finally got around to upgrading the shape of this game and it's so much better to have it and it's really nice inside. Now, my actual original copy of the game and insert, it's just something that I bought a lot of my games used, and sometimes when you buy them used, they're in used shape. Here's a game that's uncommon, and that's a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of uncommon games on Sega Genesis that a lot of people don't know were out there. You know, I think it's great that people are experiencing Sega Genesis, uh, some, some for the first time, but there's a lot of games that aren't on the Sega Genesis Mini that I encourage people to check out. Outlander is a game case that I had in my collection and there was some damage and one thing you notice on the very top this happens a lot with Sega Genesis games is that if your spine artwork is not aligned perfectly with the case it can be susceptible to getting uh, worn and so that's what happened with my Outlander here there was some damage there on the top and my cart was a little bit worn not too bad not like it was, I wasn't going to go out of my way to upgrade it, but I did find another copy of the game in excellent shape with an amazing, amazing condition case. And so without the artwork damage there, so much better. And so I went ahead and upgraded it. The other thing that you want to check, and you know, I haven't had any issues with my games, but it is good when you purchase an upgrade, especially if you're upgrading the cartridge, is to make sure to test the game, okay? It, it's, it's easy to overlook testing games, especially when you're buying maybe 10, 20, 30 games at a time, but test your games 
make sure they work. You are protected through eBay. It's a pain sometimes to return something, but I highly encourage it. All right, here's another game I've had in my collection a long time, and it had some shelf wear up here. So it really bothered me that this artwork was worn right there. I don't mind buying used games, but if I can find an affordable upgrade, I'm gonna do that, especially now that my games are gonna be on display. I wanna present the game with the original artwork in best condition that I can. And, you know, inside, you hear that? That's a crack case. That's an issue with Sega Genesis games is that the actual case was cracked and my cartridge was damaged. It was probably a previous rental that uh, had been, the rental sticker had been ripped off. And so this is definitely a game and this is unfortunately a pretty uncommon game and it's getting more expensive and hard to find. But I do recommend people that sometimes go outside of eBay if you can't find a game at your local game store. And I actually found this copy at Amazon. And it was pretty neat. I, I, it's kind of a gamble sometimes because Amazon sometimes doesn't have the pictures. And so it said it was complete. I took a gamble and it came. It was from a bookstore and it was in excellent shape. And I got really lucky there. And as you can see, it's in much better shape and opening up the cartridge and manual are in great shape. So yes, very happy to see that. There's no case damage. Awesome to see this upgraded. So this is another uncommon game and there's just sometimes there's no way around upgrading a game. And for many people such as myself, I was okay with a little bit of sun damage. And, and so this has some sun fade. This was in my collection a long time. This is an uncommon game. And even my cartridge inside wasn't in bad shape. But, you know, my case did have some damage there. For most people, you can just swap out a case. No big deal, no problem. I wanted to uh, keep it original and I wanted to get a better condition game. And so that's what I did. I found a, uh, a, a better condition game at an affordable price. And as you can see, look at the difference there. And it, with the sun damage, sun fade on especially Genesis games, because a lot of these were rental places, lots of games were exposed uh, to sunlight over time. You know, this stuff's getting, you know, pretty old now. And so it's, it's more and more you're finding games like this, and it's harder to find games like this. The other thing you need to watch out for is fakes. And it's typically a better way to purchase a game with a manual because it's, 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 less likely that it's going to be uh, a fake if it's complete with a cart and a manual and so that's what i recommend if you want to stay safe there are some legit sellers out there selling original artwork that they got in bulk rental sales and you know there there are out there and they're legit and i've and i've purchased them and no problems so what you got here is hardball 94 and this actually is not in that bad a shape it has a little bit of damage to the case the not too bad a sun fade on the spine, maybe a tad bit. It's pretty hard to tell, so especially with Akaloid Sports games. They typically aren't as dark as some of the other Sega Genesis uh, spine artwork. And so inside, you can see my manual is a little bit damaged. Uh, sometimes these darken over time. And another thing to watch out for on manuals, and I, I need to bring this up, is sometimes the staples can get rusted and so that's kind of a bummer when it comes to uh, collecting Sega Genesis those those are things to watch out for when looking at your manuals and your artwork so this wasn't in bad shape but I did find uh, an affordable replacement and the main reason I upgraded this was that the manual was in better shape but it also had uh, this and th these are what I call the goodies you can win a free game it's really cool that this came with this and it makes it more complete the cartridge is in a little bit better shape and the manual was in better shape without any rust on the manual so I hope these tips help you collect Sega Genesis so there you have it I hope these tips help you with your Sega collecting. I know that I love collecting for the Sega Genesis and it's been fun over the many, many years it's taken me to gather my collection together. I hope to see you soon at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and I'm looking forward to sharing my game collection with you. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.